What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV, and uh, I have some sad news to report to you all in the world of hip hop, and that is that uh, rapper Magoo of Timberland and Magoo fame has died at the age of fifty. Apparently, he passed away Sunday. It was sudden. Though no cause of death has been given at this time, although there was there are some reports that it was a heart attack. Uh, he hailed from Norfolk, Virginia. Magoo began his collaborative journey with Timberland in 1989 after meeting his teenagers. During their formative years, Magoo and Timbo were part of a group called SBI, which stood for Surrounded by Idiots, that included Larry Live and a then unknown Pharrell Williams. Timbo was referred to as DJ Timmy Tim, while Pharrell was called Magnum the Verb Lord. But their debut album as Timbaland and Magoo, 1997's Welcome to Our World, yielded their highest charted charting single, Up Jumps the Boogie. After releasing two more studio albums as a duo, 2001's Indecent Proposal and 2003's Under Construction Part 2, they pivoted to working with fellow Virginia native Missy Elliott and ultimately Aaliyah. Now, I'm a little bit confused by this article saying that, which I'm going to pin this article, uh, put a link to this article, excuse me, in the pinned comment in the comment section below. What do you mean ultimately Aaliyah after 2003? Because she died in August 2001. I think they should have phrased that a little differently. But anyway... In August 2021, Black Ground Records, the label that launched Aaliyah's career, solidified a distribution partnership with Empire Distribution. Under the New Deal, Timlin and Magoo's catalog was introduced to a more contemporary audience with multiple re-releases. The thing that always bothered me about the whole thing with Magoo is like, it seemed like he just disappeared off the face of the damn earth. You know, after 2003, 2004, it's like he just disappeared off of the face of the earth. And I never saw him again collab with uh, Timberland. Now, I just assume maybe he moved to other things, producing. Maybe he's got it out of the hip-hop game entirely. I don't know. Uh, but what happened to him? And, you know, another thing that, that was distinctive about Magoo, and he got criticized for it too, was his voice. I thought he sounded like a human cartoon, which I guess you could call it gimmicky. And he had his detractors. Some people thought he wasn't a really a good rapper. There's some people that even say, I think Taleb, uh, Taleb Kuala is one of them. He calls him a, 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 a Q-tip clone. They was trying to rap like Q-tip, and I just never saw that. I, I, I could hear the, I could hear some similarities, but I think that Magoo just rapped like that. I mean, his natural voice doesn't sound too different from that. I think that was like maybe his persona. But I never thought that he was consciously trying to mimic Q-Tip. Or at least, you know, purposely trying to do it, man. But, uh, yeah, Up Jumps the Boogie is one of my favorite songs ever. And I do know this. Um, Mace's, not Mace, excuse me. Um, Magoo's first verse. Some of them lines, some of them lyrics. He wouldn't be able to get away with that shit today. Like, didn't he have a line? Didn't he say something like, uh, 